All right, so what's a cheap shotgun mic for filmmaking? And we're actually gonna look at this one today, which is the uh, Cinco Mic D1, and it's the one I'm using right now. And as you can tell, it sounds pretty amazing. How's it going? My name is Andrew Murphy from Down Under in Gold Coast, Australia. So the Cinco Mic D1 is a $199 shotgun mic, which is pretty cheap considering how good it actually sounds. And stick around to the end because I'll show you a budget way to remove background noise to get cleaner audio on any microphone. Now straight off the bat, it comes with this wicked little carry case, which actually has everything you need to get set up. We have the Cinco Mic D1 itself and a windsock, which I'll show you later on why this is such an important part of any microphone. It also has a cold tube mount with a mic clamp as well as a full size XLR cable and an XLR to three and a half millimeter cable as well. And this was something that I actually really liked about this microphone because a lot of other manufacturers just sell the mic by itself and then obviously you have to buy all the cables and stuff to go with it afterwards. So it's super handy to have these in the kit with the actual microphone. Now to actually mount this on your camera, we could use the included mic clamp and the cold tube mount or if your camera has a mic mount on it, you could use that as well. Now, one thing you're probably wondering is what is the reason behind this mic sounding so good? And it's to do with the specific polar pattern of this mic fan. Now stick with me because it's a little bit complicated, but I'll try to explain it as best as I can. So the Cinco D1 has what is called a hypercardioid pattern, which basically means that it cuts out a lot of sounds from the side, but also from the rear of the mic as well. And if that's still gone over your head a bit, here's like a visual representation of how the mic actually picks up sound just to help you better understand it. Now, if I was to put this side by side with something like the Cinco M1P, which is actually a cardioid mic, and I'll show you right now what a cardioid mic kind of like polar pattern pickup is, you can see how much noise is actually being cut with that hypercardioid pattern on the Mic D1. And because of this rejection pattern, it makes this microphone great for like interviews and short films and even documentary filmmaking as well. Another great feature of the Cinco D1 is that it has phantom power as well as battery power. Now, I can hear right now, you're like, D did he just say phantom power? So phantom power basically just means that your camera is sending power through the audio cable to power the mic itself. And this is great because you don't need to worry about replacing the batteries or charging your microphone every time you want to shoot. But the downside is that a lot of cameras can't actually supply phantom power to microphones, which is where that battery power comes in. The Cinco D1 just takes a AA battery and this will allow you to use this higher end microphone on like DSLRs and smaller cameras and still get beautiful sounding audio. It uses a full size XLR input, but with that three and a half millimeter adapter cable that you get in the box, plus the fact that you can use battery power with it, it doesn't really limit you in any way with how you can actually use this microphone. XLR cables are the preferred cable when it comes to professional gear, as it's just a much higher quality connector, and it's also got a locking mechanism in it as well, so you can't accidentally like knock it out. Now, since I've only been using this for a couple of months now, I've actually reached out to my mate Jason, who has been using it for ages. I think he's been nearly using it for 12 months, just to kind of like give his experiences on how he likes this mic. Awesome, thanks Andrew. This is Jason here. If you haven't seen my channel before, you may have actually seen me a couple of times in Andrew's B-roll, but I do a whole bunch of gear reviews about photography and filmmaking equipment. And the Cinco D1 is a mic that I've done a review on, but it's not just that. I've been using this mic on my channel for quite some time now. It has been my main studio mic, and I just really love how it captures the sound it gives a nice rich texture to my voice and not overly bassy. Now it does reject a lot of the ambient noise around the room and gives me an overall crisp audio to work with, not just for my main talking headshots, but I also do voiceovers with this as well. Now, as you can see, I try and keep the mic as close to me as possible, but also being out of frame. Now this will give me the best quality audio I can, and I record directly into my Zoom H5 recorder. Anyway, my channel will be linked in the description below if you do want to check me out. Thank you for having me on your channel and talking about the Cinco D1. Anyway, back to you, Andrew. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it comes in the box with this little windsock, which is hands down the number one thing 
that every microphone needs. This works to slow down the air moving around the microphone to stop that dreaded wind noise and also pops when speaking as well. It also has a high pass filter built in, which allows you to cut out lower frequencies before the signal even leaves the microphone itself. And this is great if you are shooting around like air conditioners or like appliances that generate a low frequency sound, but it can also help with pops when speaking as well. It has a signal to noise ratio of 78 decibels, which is quite good from the research that I've kind of done. Apparently anything above about 74 decibels is really good for like recordings, like audio or vocals with minimal noise. And the frequency range is 40 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which is pretty large. So it will not only be good for recording vocals for an interview, kind of like what I'm doing right now, but you could also use it to record like music at a live event or anything where there's like lower frequencies coming into play. Now the frequency range is a little bit smaller than say the Rode NTG range, but comparing this to my Rode NTG2, which I'm actually using right now to record this, it basically sounds the same from what I can hear, but it's $60 cheaper and it comes with those XLR cables in the box as well. So it saves you having to buy those as well. So now finally, what are my overall thoughts on this mic before I show you a budget way to remove that background noise to get cleaner audio with any microphone? And overall, I actually really like the sound of this mic. It picks up speech really good and outputs a very clean signal with minimal noise. And I've actually been using it in my last few videos I've posted as my main mic. So if you wanna hear more from this actual microphone, just check out those as well. And for like $199, I think it's a great microphone that can be used in a ton of different situations. All right, now if you've stuck around and you're wanting to learn how to remove background noises to get cleaner audio from your microphone, then my budget way, which I personally use all the time and I'm using right now, is to actually use removalist blankets. And you can pick these up from like your local hardware store. And what this does is actually absorb and block sound from hitting your microphone. So for me, my studio is set up next to a window and I've hung this blanket over the curtain rail to stop that outside noise coming in, but also to stop my voice from hitting it and then reverberating like around the room. But you could just as easily place this anywhere that unwanted noises are coming from to help to block that sound from your microphone. All right guys, if you did enjoy this one, then consider liking and subscribing. And if you wanna find out more about the Synco Mic D1, I'll leave some links down below. And as always, stay creative and just be you. See ya.